Hello guys. Um, um, I know a lot of things have been going on since that I've been dead or something. I'm not dead. This is me. Yes, and the ritual is real. It is real. Jide is a ritualist. That it was not a prank. No, it was not a prank. It was to distract him. Yes, he's a ritualist. And this is it. I want to start saying everything. That day, I, on, on the I left my house. That was Lagos to go and meet him as a boy, as my boyfriend. Then I started. I, I became sick. That was on on the first of January. I started having kata and cold, all the stuff. I told him, said, um, he's going to take him to the chemist. Then he did. He bought the drug and all the stuff. But later, my stomach started paining me. Then I told him, today I'm having stomach ache. I could not even eat. He's going to, he always buy food. The food I always wasting and all that. She and stand. Then, um, my. My so-called boyfriend asked me, when, do, when are you leaving? That was on Wednesday. I told him I was going to leave, like, maybe next week or so. He said, no, that I should leave on Friday. That he's going to book my ticket. That I'm going to leave on Friday. But I was still sick. He knows. I can't eat. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm just there. Even his, his so-called boys that are in his house, they know. They'll be like, wait, wait till they do you. I'll say nothing. I'm fine. That Wednesday, me and my so-called boyfriend, we had sex, yes, we had sex. Then he used this tissue, because I was so weak, I could not go to the toilet, to clean up. Then he used the tissue to clean up my vagina. Then he just threw it away on the floor. Thinking tomorrow morning when I'm cleaning up the room, it's going to, I'm going to throw it away. That was the second day. But I had a dream that night that he ran mad in the dream and he's a ritualist, blah, 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 there in the dream. So I woke up being scared. Then I called my pastor. Then the man told me, my own enemy has been used, that is not me, has been used, that the guy is a ritualist. He was there, it was even his phone I used in calling the pastor while I was speaking Yoruba because he does not understand Yoruba. Then, um, then I started bleeding. I saw the blood when I woke up. I started bleeding. I told him that I, I saw my period on the 23rd of December. So why am I seeing my period again? Then Jude said, um, are you sure it's your period? I was just joking with him before I called my pastor. So while I called my pastor, he said, Jude is a ritualist, that yes, he used me. So I didn't tell him. I was even about to tell him that he um, used me. So I didn't tell him. I was even about telling him that, uh, yes, um, babe, I had the dream. He was even angry, I didn't tell him. That night, he knew I could not sleep. He knew about the bleeding, he knew about my stomach ache. All true. All true. Then he left the house early morning. Before my boyfriend leaves the house in the morning, he's always telling me, um, he's always telling me, baby, I'm coming, I'm going out. He didn't tell me anything. He just left early in the morning. Then my, I posted something on my WhatsApp that if I don't make it, I'll miss the world. My friend started texting me when the world's going on. I said, nothing is going on. So there's just my friend Natasha I call, that just called me. She was like, Wendy, what's up? What's up? Um, what's going on? Why did you write that kind of thing? I said nothing. Then the girl came over to Jide's place in the morning, that morning. Then I explained things to her. Then she was like, okay, that she would take me to her pastor's place. That's here in Pini. Wait. But I said, no, I don't want to go. That I want to go to Lagos. Then, then later, then later, I didn't follow her. She just took me to go and buy um, ab for my stomach. So I took the ab. Why coming back home? Jide just called me. Where are you? Where did you go to? Blah blah blah. That I um, I just money for you at home. So tickets go to then carry you to the airport. Then you go back to Lagos. I don't want to see you. Don't call my number. I just started saying a lot of stuff that day. I just smiled and said okay, because they said I should not fight to see why leaving the house. So he left angrily, telling his brother to drop me, but I didn't follow his brother. So I didn't use uh, um, flight that day. I used bus. I didn't get to Lagos, I just called him, just to hear what he would say. I said, little babe, I'm in Lagos. He said, okay, just called the call. When, when I was in Lagos, then they took me to the river to just cleanse me and all that. But they said he needs to be distracted because he has not completed his assignment. He needs to be distracted. That was why that RIP stuff went viral yesterday. So I am not dead, I am alive. 
Jide, Jide is a ritualist. No matter what he said, he thinks he can use money. He's threatening people that if they don't stay back, they don't run for their life. He's going to use three million to kill them. Jide is a ritualist. I am saying it live. He's a ritualist. He kills. He kills for money. He even killed his grandfather, his own grandfather. Jide is a ritualist. I can prove it. If, if he thinks I'm lying, okay, he should come out. He should stop saying all those things that my own family, my own family, eh? wants to extort money from him. My own family can never, his own family are wretched, even for Jide that has money. Eh? Jide can, his family are, they are nonsense. Do you understand? My family are far better than Jide's family. But because, and for his mother and his father that are saying nonsense, that eh, eh, they are picking the do each other. You guys did not ask your son where he gets money from, where he's seen the money from. But you guys are just there, collecting money from him. Okay, he's spending. Jide is a ritualist. He had today, your son and ritual, your bad today, yes, I'm in Lagos, I'm feeling fine. Nothing is doing me. Today, you can't see me and use them. Never. Today is a ritualist. I was just say any it anywhere, any day. Today is a ritualist. I'm in Lagos. I'm in Lagos. Today is a ritualist. He's a ritualist though. And um for King Jide Best. They are saying me I left you because of your your so-called um baby mama. <laughs> God. I just put that one. I put them because they also use our baby with they want born so eh? They will use our baby to do soap for Jide. Jide, you be ritualist, you be you be killer. And I don't want to say um but I think of my life, yes. I think of my life. I'm okay. Nothing is wrong with me. And for those of you saying nonsense, I mean I'm here trying to be famous, posting nonsense. I am not trying to be famous. My own fame, I, I'm okay with what I have on my list. Do you understand? I am not a ghost. Jide is a ritualist. But I'm, I'm, I'm saved. I thank God for life. I'm saved. I thank God because God restored me. Even for that dream, my sister, my brother, everybody, I won't be saved today. I don't know what will have happened to me. But I thank God. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say again. I thank God. But I didn't fake my death. I did not die. It was just help. And thank, thanks for you guys that posted. I read. You guys even saved me, I would say. Because it was, throughout yesterday, he was distracted. Yes, he was supposed to commit, complete his assignment yesterday. But due to the fact of the RIP and all the shit, he was distracted. Internet really helped me yesterday. I just thank God. I don't know what to say again. I'm just happy because I didn't die. Thank everybody. And for those that are insulting me, too, I say thank you. Because you guys joined the, the saving. You guys did save me. I thank you. It's not until I met this boy anyhow on the road though. This boy is not my boyfriend though. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know what to say again. But I still thank God for life. Today best. I heard you, you won the case. I heard you bought the case. I heard you pay so many people for the case. That those people that are commenting on my, on, on the distance, on the stuff, everything you pay them. Let me tell you something. Eh? The money they are spending. Later, later, you go use that money. They go use that money to bury you. They go use that money to, to do your burial for you. If you see the way he was calling yesterday, crying, telling people that.